Hey everyone, so today I'm filming, filming a video of um, a Taylor Swift lover inspired vinyl art piece. This is for a wedding and this is their first dance song. So I was really excited to see this, it came in the mail and it's so pretty, it's gorgeous. I am leaving the reverse side playable. Um, but yeah, I love the packaging in this, so it would be really cool to open everything together for the, cus for the client, er, client, for the couple that this is being gifted to. Man, it's been a long day in sales. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm starting off the background here as a light blue sky. I really wanted to pull in those colors from the album cover. So yeah, I really wanted to pull in the theme of Lover, which overall the aesthetic, it's very like summery spring, happy daytime, like butterflies and hearts and like this perfect world um, is kind of how she's picturing Lover, I think visually. That's how I picture it. So you'll definitely see me kind of work on that theme. Um, you'll see a lot of the clouds that I pulled from the cover and then this bottom half of the piece I wanted to do more of like a wave ocean type theme because this couple happened to get engaged in California. It looks like on a beach so I decided to pull that in for part of the background as well. So yeah, you'll see me go in and adjust these songs, or you'll see me go in and adjust these clouds a number of times, um, just trying to get the right saturation and vibrancy of them. So I definitely go in, like I said, and edit those. This piece was very go with the flow kind of thing. This wasn't specifically ordered, this is actually for a gift. Um, so I didn't have too much direction, I got to just kind of flow with it, which was really nice and different. Um, yeah, so here you'll see me including some of the images. Um, obviously have to fit them into the piece as best as I can. So something I love about this song is that Taylor released a version that was meant to be like a wedding first dance type um, version of it. And it's really beautiful if you haven't heard it. Definitely type in the wedding version to listen to it. So this is a paper I'm deciding to use um, to put in some star details. I actually haven't done this much, but I knew this piece needed something else and um, adding in the stars just to combine with that whole like very fairy tale vibe. Um, I thought it fit in really nicely, so I just cut those out with paper and then pasted them on. But anyway, yeah. The wedding version of the song is really beautiful and I don't know why it like makes me kind of sad to think about like she created this song like knowing it would bring so much joy to couples that were getting married and I wonder if like maybe that's something that she kind of hoped for herself or I don't know why I think of it like that but you know she's kind of at that age where I don't know if she'll get married and that's fine um but it's just so nice that she lives for other people like that you know I don't know how to explain it but Anyway, I'm going in with um, Mod Podge just as a final coating, and I do this um, with every piece. I do wait for it to dry, of course, um, and I actually love watching this. It's like one of those oddly satisfying things. I was going to quickly show you guys how I framed this because um, I don't often show this in videos, but this one was really fun and good example to show you guys. So I buy my 12 by 12 frames and then I have the backdrop paper it comes with. I flip it over to where it's a blank slate of paper and that's when I will tape in the um, sheet music to the song Lover. So again, making another connection there, um, serves as a great background. You can see some of the lyrics, the notes and things. 
and I've done this for a couple wedding pieces it ties everything together really really well and I usually really like the way it turns out so yeah I usually split it up into four corners and then try and fit everything in in a way that it kind of makes sense and looks good um, and then I always get confused at this part but piece in first then backdrop and then the um, wooden piece for the back so get all of that together and then she is basically good to go I do obviously wait for it to dry, which I don't show, but that is how it ends up looking. Um, and yeah, just wanted to say thank you guys for watching and hope to see you in my next video. If you guys want to see anything particular, feel free to leave it in the comments. Thanks!